Welcome back. In this teaching video, I've looked at 1.4 repeated factors. 1.4 represents Chapter 1, Section 4 of the Pearson A Level Maths Pure Maths Year 2 textbook. Show that 39x squared plus 2x plus 59 all over x plus 5 in brackets multiplied by 3x minus 1 in brackets squared can be written in the form a over x plus 5 plus b over 3x minus 1 plus c over 3x minus 1 in brackets squared, where a, b, and c are constants to be found. Now, over here, what we notice is that 3x minus 1 is a repeated factor because we have 3x minus 1 in bracket squared. Hence why this teaching video is called repeated factors. Right, so we want to express this fraction as partial fractions. The first step is to let the given fraction, 39x squared plus 2x plus 59, all over x plus 5 in bracket multiplied by 3x minus 1 in bracket squared equal the given partial fractions. So we've got a over x plus 5 plus b over 3x minus 1 plus c over 3x minus 1 in bracket squared. Okay, so now we're going to combine these three fractions. What we want as a common denominator is the following. We want x plus 5 in brackets multiplied by 3x minus 1 in brackets squared. So we have equal, let's start off with the a. We've already got the x plus 5, we want the 3x minus 1 in brackets squared, so we can take a and we can multiply it by 3x minus 1 in brackets squared plus b. We've already got one lot of 3x minus 1, but what we don't have is another 3x minus 1 and the x plus 5. So we can take b and we can multiply it by 3x minus 1 and x plus 5 plus c. Now in this denominator, we already have 3x minus 1 in bracket squared, but what we don't have is the x plus 5. So we take c and we multiply it by x plus 5 all over common denominator, x plus 5 multiplied by 3x minus 1 in bracket squared. Okay, since this fraction over here is equal to this fraction, we can set the numerators equal to each other. So we've got 39x squared plus 2x plus 59 equal to this numerator. A multiplied by 3x minus 1 in bracket squared plus b multiplied by 3x minus 1 multiplied by x plus 5 plus c multiplied by x plus 5. Okay, so we're going to use this equation in order to work out the values of a, b and c respectively. The next step is to set each of these equal to 0, starting off with the first bracket. So we've got x plus 5 equals 0, this gives us x equal minus 5. Then we've got 3x minus 1 in bracket squared equals 0. If we solve this, we get x equal a third. So we're going to use these x values in order to calculate the missing variables. Right, so let's start off with x equal minus 5. So when x is equal minus 5, we can substitute this into the left-hand side. This will give us 1024 equal. Then we can substitute it into the right-hand side. This will give us 256a. Hence, a is equal 1024 divided by 256. This gives us a equal 4. Okay, let's move on. When x is equal a third, we're going to substitute x equal a third into the left-hand side. This gives us 64. Now we're going to substitute x equal a third into the right-hand side. This gives us 16 over 3c. So we can solve for c. So c is equal 64 divided by 16 over 3. So c is equal 12. Right, we've got the a, we've got the c. The tricky part is how do we work out the b? Right, I'm going to show you this. The next step is to substitute your a and c back into this equation. So we've got uh, 39 x squared plus 2x plus 59 equal the a value, which is 4. So we've got four lots of 3x minus 1 in bracket squared plus b, we don't know what b is, multiplied by 3x minus 1 in bracket, multiplied by x plus 5 in bracket, plus the c is 12. So we've got 12 lots of x plus 5. 
OK, so now how do we work out B? Right, here's an easy option. We're going to pick an x value such that x is not equal to minus 5 and x is not equal to a third. We've used these x values to calculate A and C. So now what do I pick as my x value? It's up to me. I can pick any x value apart from these two values. So for simplicity, I'm going to use x equal, for example, 0. E dot g dot, I'm going to pick x equals 0. Okay, so now I'm going to substitute x equals 0 into the left-hand side of this and the right-hand side of this to generate an equation involving b. So if I substitute x equals 0 into the left-hand side, I get 59 equal. If I substitute x equals 0 into the entire right-hand side, term by term, I'll get the following result. So I've got 59 equal 4 minus 5b plus 60. So now I've got an equation involving b. I can solve for b. Let's uh, simplify this equation. So I've got 59 equal minus 5b plus 64. So then I've got 59 minus 64, which is minus 5. So minus 5 is equal minus 5b. Hence b is equal minus 5 divided by minus 5, which is 1. Okay, so we've got b equal 1. Therefore, now I'm going to put the icing on the cake. This fraction over here, 39x squared plus 2x plus 59 over x plus 5 in bracket multiplied by 3x minus 1 in bracket squared is equal my a value, which is 4 over x plus 5 plus my b value so my b value is 1 so plus 1 over 3x minus 1 plus my c value which is 12 okay so 12 over 3x minus 1 in bracket squared that completes this teaching video 1.4 repeated factors if you found this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a teaching video.